Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you a video talking about Marvel and Netflix's Jessica Jones. Um, you guys know I did a video talking about the first episode, aka Ladies Night Out. And uh, I'm about halfway through the season, I just finished watching episode 7, which is aka Top Shelf Perverts. And, uh, you know, I guess, uh, uh, sorry about that, let me adjust the camera. Give me a second. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> um, yeah, I just sort of wanted to do a like midway uh, thoughts video, you know, midway through the season. Um, like a girl, another girl. Oh, well, I'm not a girl, but ugh. anyway, a girl I watch on YouTube. You know, she's uh, named M Mighty Sophia. Her, she has uh, she has just like excellent reviews, like a very well thought out and like well spoken, uh, you know, discussions really. And, you know, the way she speaks is the way I wish I could speak. So I definitely uh, would want to check her out, you know, for her re review on this. She did one midway through after episode 7, so I figured I'd do the same thing. I think it's a good idea. Um, just because, I, also because I'm really enjoying the show, you know. I kind of wanted to talk about it sooner than just finishing the season, you know. Which I'm going to do, but I really wanted to get my th thoughts out and my excitement about it before, out, of, uh, out about it beforehand. Uh, sorry, I can't talk right now for some reason. <laughs> but, uh, and of course I'll still be doing a video when I actually do finish the season to give, like, my final overall thoughts on it. But I just wanted to let you guys know what I thought about it at this point I'm at, which is just finishing episode 7. Um, I think it's an excellent series overall, man. Um, you know, Netflix and Marvel did it again. Uh, just, uh, the tone, the atmosphere, uh, the acting is all very good. Um, the story is really, really developing really well. Um, I honestly, honestly, these, uh, past two episodes I've watched, um, which is episode six, uh, aka You're a Winner, and, you know, the one I just mentioned, which is Top Shelf Perverts, definitely two best episodes so far. Um, I really like Mike Coulter's Luke Cage as well, um, who, you know, was just told by Jessica Jones what really happened to his wife. Um, you know, when she was under the influence of Kilgrave some time ago, you know, she actually punched her chest with all her strength and, you know, basically just stopped her heart and killed her. And that whole episode that revolved around Jessica eventually telling him, but only when he was about to kill the bus driver for her out of a complete, you know, total, like, rage and, you know, snap. Um, just very well acted from both Mike Coulter and, uh, Kristen Ritter, of course. And Kristen Ritter... She is amazing in this role, man. Um, I mean, I seen Breaking Bad. I loved Breaking Bad. You know, she was good as you know Jane in season two, Apology Girl, and stuff like that. But this is definitely her landmark role. Definitely, like a, I don't know if I'd say breakout because she was kind of known before this, but this is definitely like a milestone landmark role for her, I think. And you know, she, as I said in the premiere review, uh, you know, she just portrays every side of Jessica really well. Um, Jessica Jones herself, on the show anyway, I haven't read the comic book, so I don't really know all the differences and stuff like that, but on the show, Jessica Jones is, you know, she has that sarcastic, uh, attitude, and, you know, she's sort of a, excuse my language, she's sort of a bitch, <laughs> but, you know, it's understandable, um, because of her experiences once she's been forced to be put through and stuff like that, but when it comes down to it, she definitely does have a good heart, um, so she has that attitude, but also that vulnerability, and, you know, she's just a really enjoyable and, you know, fun character, too, just because of, you know, how she acts, you know, each scene and stuff like that. And, you know, I was getting to really, really like uh, her and Luke Cage's chemistry together. But now it looks like they're not going to be getting back together anytime soon. But like I said, I really like Mike Coulter's Luke Cage, and it makes me uh, even more excited to see the Luke Cage TV series, Luke Cage Netflix series that will eventually be happening. Um, you know, they've already developed his backstory pretty well, and I'm excited for, you know, the, the series of his own to actually go into his origin and stuff like that a little bit, so that should be really good. And the last episode I watched, you know, Top Shelf for Perverts, you know, um, they really, uh, revealed something that really, not fully explains, but sort of goes, uh, oh, really, why, Ugh. <laughs> Um, just, uh, Kilgrave's, you know, twisted, you know, supposed love for Jessica, you know, all this being a setup because she's like the one person who was able to like break free and like uh, that he lost you know that 
didn't come back to him and stuff like that or do exactly what you know he had uh, told her um, excuse me I'm fixing my hair all over the place right now <laughs> um, that's just what happens when you care about your hair and you're looking at a camera the whole time but uh, you know Kilgrave as a villain I def definitely uh, David Tennant does a good job you know in the role um, I don't know if I prefer him, you know, to, you know, the Kingpin Wilson Fisk we got on Daredevil yet. Um, but really, they're two very different villains. And, you know, on one hand, you know, Kingpin, you know, he's someone you could almost understand and sort of feel, you know, sympathetic for. And granted, I'm not all the way through Jessica Jones yet, so maybe there's something about uh, Kilgrave's background that could make me a little bit more sympathetic towards him or something. But even if there's not, uh, Kilgrave is a different animal, you know. Um, the best thing about him so far is not really he himself, it's the effect he has on others and how he ruins and just completely tears apart people's lives through like this dark manipulation and things like that. It's really well done. Um, so I think you can enjoy him as a villain for a different reason than you can with uh, Kingpin. Um, and, you know, I've been posting my thoughts on, like, mostly episodes on my Facebook page, which you can find the link to in the description. And you guys know, uh, you know, I've been saying I prefer Marvel's Daredevil. And I still do, but, you know, it's just kind of because, you know, I already like the Daredevil character going into it and stuff, so I might have a bit of a biased opinion towards that. But, uh, you know, if I do still prefer Daredevil by the end of uh, the season, um... I really think Jessica Jones has really found its voice. It really stands on its own. It feels like it's in the same world, and I like all the little references they have to, like, even the Marvel movies, you know, like them constantly bringing up, not constantly, but once in a while bringing up the Hulk and, you know, the Avengers or the red, white, and blue guy and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's really cool. So it feels like it's in the same world, but all at the same time, it has this unique tone and sort of, like, noirish, you know, sort of dark humored grimy world that I just really think is very unique to this series alone and you know I cannot talk enough about I already talked about Kristen Ritter but you know she's just a gift to the show you know she is just uh, amazing in the role and uh, you know I'm definitely gonna I might watch one more episode tonight but I'll definitely get through the season probably within the next uh, week or two um I would say that maybe by the end of this weekend, but, you know, I'm kind of going to be busy on, you know, like Friday, Thursday and Friday for Thanksgiving, but, you know, I'll definitely be finishing this season within the next couple of weeks, and when I do, I'll definitely do a video talking about it. Um, you know, of course, I could go back and give, like, each, you know, specific thought on each specific episode, but, uh, you know, there's just way too much to talk about, and if you like Daredevil, definitely check this one out. And if you didn't like Daredevil and you like uh, good psychological, you know, dramas and stuff like that, I'd definitely check this out. You don't have to love the Marvel movies to really enjoy the show either. Um, I enjoy the Marvel films, don't get me wrong, but shows like uh, Jessica Jones and Daredevil are on completely different levels compared to any of them. Um, let's see. Uh, of course, I'm looking forward to the Defender series as well. Uh, I'm also still hoping for a uh, Matt Murdock, you know, Charlie Cox Daredevil cameo in the season of Jessica Jones, you know, crossing my fingers, but we'll see. Either way, I'm excited for those characters to come together. It should be epic as hell <laughs> when it actually does happen. Um, you know, I also like the flashback they showed to Jessica as a child at the end of episode 7. Um, the girl looks almost exactly like her as a kid, too. It's kind of cool. Um, I also like Trish, you know, Jessica's best friend, you know, I like the actress they have for her. Um, Simpson, you know, he's a good side character, you know, he's kind of a likable guy. Um, I also liked episode four, you know, uh, aka 99 Friends, and, you know, with the lady who tried to give her, you know, who gave her a job, and then she ended up turning on her and, you know, shooting her in the shoulder and stuff like that. Great scene because Jessica ends up snapping because, you know, the blame that's put on her and everyone else because of... You know, like the recent events, the battle in New York City because of the Avengers and stuff like that. Um, yeah, just a great series. Uh, I really wish I could get more specific about it, but if you guys want to see a more specific video about the show, um, like I said, go to Mighty Sophia's channel. You know, she does more in-depth reviews than I do. Um, but really, I just wanted to give you my journal feel about it, and I just think it's excellent. 
maybe not as good to Daredevil as Daredevil to me yet, but it's a different animal, and I am really enjoying it. I really think it's an amazing series. Um, yeah, some people have been complaining that it's too slow, um, but really, no, it's not. They don't really get what's supposed to be then. But, uh, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't as in-depth as I might like to think. Um, but it's really one. You guys know how much I've been enjoying it. So, uh, yeah. I'll catch you guys next time. Not sure exactly for what. But, uh, yeah. Add me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Movie pilot. Like for me on Catch you guys next time. And, uh, peace. I'll stop repeating myself.